New tonight at 5, a fire tore through a vacant home in the Grand Crossing neighborhood this morning, spreading it to others around it. Video from the Citizen app captured some of the destruction. And we're hearing from the man who says he is displaced after his house also caught fire. WGN's Courtney Spinelli is at CPD headquarters with that story. Courtney. Good evening. The images you're about to see show the massive flames firefighters were met with when they arrived on scene around 730 this morning. A man living in a home that caught fire tells me he barely escaped with his life. A minute later, I, I would have been in flames. It's a reality Larry Newsom says is now sinking in his home appearing to be a total loss, but he says the mere fact that he's still alive is enough reason to smile. Once I started seeing the flames, I just went into panic because I, I wasn't sure if I was going to die, if my pathway to getting downstairs was cut off, so I, I had no clue. Fire trucks roaring to the scene near Hartwell and Marquette as neighbors frantically knocked on doors to homes. Newsom says fire. he was sleeping until firefighters tried to break down his door. He had no idea. The flames went right to where I was sleeping and I'm a hard sleeper, so I don't know how I woke up. Where's our cats? Next, you know, I hear somebody out front saying, hey, get out, get out, get out. And I start banging on my kids' doors. Next door, Patricia says she woke up to the smell of something burning. As she rushed outside, she captured the initial moments on camera where she thought she was going to lose her own home. Oh, my God. We're going to be homeless. Oh, got the next house. Some people don't have nowhere to lay their head tonight. Luckily, I do. CFD says the fire started in a vacant home spreading to Newsom's home and another on the other side also sitting vacant for years. Sources tell WGN News at least one person was spotted running from the scene as firefighters arrived and flames erupted. Residents sharing their frustration saying they feel this could have been prevented. If they're not going to fix it, tear it down. It just became a, uh, a nuisance, you know, in, to us, to the neighbors. He never expected it would come to something like this, Newsom says. For him, this loss is much more than just the roof over his head. My mom passed uh, during COVID, so uh, it's a lot of memories in the house for her. Holding on to those memories, as Newsom says, he's taking this one step at a time. It's just shocking. I'm like, I'm, I'm still in shock and disarray. The Chicago Fire Department says no one was injured, including any firefighters in this response, but they say it was a quick attack to get those flames down and make sure it didn't spread any more than it already did. The cause remains under investigation as of tonight. Reporting outside of Public Safety Headquarters, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.